Hello, thank you for joining us for the inaugural Food Loss and Waste podcast. I'm Ann Vaughn, the Senior Advisor for Climate Change in the Bureau for Resilience and Food Security. This podcast is hosted by USAID's Research Community of Practice subgroup on food loss and waste and will be featuring interviews with subject matter experts to explore the implications of and approaches to addressing food loss and waste. Today, I couldn't be more excited to introduce you to Liz Goodwin from WRI. Liz, would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, um, and thank you very much for inviting me. So I'm I'm Liz Goodwin. I'm Senior Fellow and Director of Food Loss and Waste at the World Resources Institute, WRI. Um, and prior to joining WRI, I was Chief Exec of an organisation in the UK called RAP, and we did a lot of work on food waste there. So I've been working on food loss and waste since about 2006, 2007. Great. Well, we're so glad to have you on our first podcast, and uh, we know you are a, a deep expert on this, and we're hoping you could give us a 101 on food loss and waste. Why should USAID missions and implementing partners care about reducing food loss and waste? Well, we should all care more about food loss and waste. Um, it's one of those unsung scandals, really, that, that doesn't have enough profile or awareness. Um, it's estimated we waste or lose around a third of all the food that's produced. So it just never reaches, never actually is used to feed people. Um, it costs nearly a trillion dollars every year. It's a waste of around a quarter of all the water in, used in agriculture. Um, and it represents around 8 to 10% of greenhouse gas emissions. So it's a massive contributor to climate change problems um, and to all our environmental issues at the moment. And at the same time, we've got one in 10 people in the world going hungry. So you've got at one side all this waste going on, and then at the other extreme, you've got food insecurity and people not without enough to have a healthy, sustainable diet. And it's also clear that we will not achieve the planet, the Paris Climate Agreement targets without tackling food loss and waste. We can do all the work we want to do on energy and transport, but we have to tackle food loss and waste as part of achieving those overall goals. And the other thing is we all waste food every country in the world, every business, um, we all as individuals, we all waste food. And it's lost or wasted at all points in the supply chain. And that means there is something that every single person can do about it, because it's, it's all of us who are wasting it, and it's all of us who are part of the solution. And no one person can be that solution. So we all need to do something. And in terms of what we should do, I mean, there's a very simple strategy, which is one I, I advocate a lot. It's Target Measure Act. So, you know, set your goal. You're going to focus on food loss and waste and then measure. Understand where your problems are, where your hotspots are. Um, you know, is it at the farm level or is it at the household? Understand where those problems are. And then immediately you can see the potential and the opportunities to take action. And that is has been proved to work in lots of countries around the world. So that's... That's my my tips for today is target measure act and, and you won't go far wrong. Great. No, thanks for that. And I think you've got some really good uh, resources on the WRI website that we'll have to include in the show notes. So people can read a bit more about that. Um, I want to next question is um, USAID has a long history in working in food security and in value chains. And in your view, what are the few specific actions that our missions, partner governments, and implementing partners can do to help reduce food loss and waste? You've talked a bit about Target Measure Act. Maybe you talk a bit more about that and maybe also looking at sort of different parts of the value chain where we should be looking at um, uh, as areas to, to intervene and try to reduce food loss and waste. Yeah. So, I mean, I, you're absolutely right. So the, the primary thing is in adopt the Target Measure Act approach, encourage the governments and businesses and anybody else you're working with to adopt the Target Measure Act approach. Um, there is lots of information on the on the Champions 12.3 website and as well as the WRI website. So th those are good sources of information. Make sure you know where the opportunities are in your location. In some places, you know, in cities, and this is not just cities in the developed world, middle income countries as well, in cities, there's a big household food loss waste, food waste issue, which um, all cities need to address. So understand where those issues are. Are they in cities or at the farm level or are they in the supply chain? Is it the fact that there isn't sufficient road infrastructure to allow product to get safely from the farm to the market? Is it a lack of cold storage close to farm? So understand where those issues are and then you can take action. And the other thing to remember is, you know, there's a set of one trillion dollars is wasted every year. There is a fantastic, fantastic business case for taking action. 
um, we looked across a whole number of businesses throughout the supply chain and the median company had a 14 to 1 return on investment wow. and these weren't massive investments a lot of them were really sort of you know tens of thousands of dollars they were small investment relatively small investments that made a massive difference and the payback was enormous so i think it's important to raise the profile of that business case um, because that why wouldn't you do it no, really good point and a good uh, a good plug for our private sector engagement teams to to be looking more at helping reduce food loss and waste and partnering with our private sector. I want to just real quickly, Liz, you mentioned the 12.3 coalition um, and just for our some of our listeners that may not be familiar with that, that's the SDG 12.3 is a target that we've set when we develop the SDGs to reduce food loss and waste by uh, by 50% by 2030. Um, and that's an important um, uh, SDG to think about when we're working on, be it governance work and some of our food security work um, or market systems work is that governments have committed to working on this too. So it's a good, um, a good reference to have when communicating with governments about actions that they may uh, be able to take, uh, including this Target Measure Act approach Liz has mentioned, um, to make sure uh, we're getting governments to help advance and meet these development goals also. All right, Liz, last but not least, what's the one thing you want our listeners to do after listening to this podcast? Well, you're all individuals at the end of the day. Think about what you can do. You know, if you're working in a government, think about what can my government do? You know, are there more policies we could implement? Could we be requiring more businesses to measure and report? Um, do we actually understand where the issues in our country are? Um, can we do more to raise awareness? So, you know, what more can we as a government do to provide the framework to encourage businesses to take action? And if I'm a business, you know, what can I do to improve things in my business? Can I work with my customers? to help them to reduce food waste in the household? Can I work with my supply chain to reduce food loss in the supply chain? And if I'm an individual, what can I do at home? You know, can I plan my meals better? Can I write a shopping list before I go shopping? Can I use my fridge and my freezer better? Those are some really simple things um, that make a big difference. And if I'm in an NGO, raise awareness, lobby government, lobby businesses to do more and take action. Every single person has a role to play in this. And without us all doing our bit, it will, won't happen in time. You know, you mentioned um, the SDGs. It's only eight years till we get to 2030. We don't have very much time to actually halve food waste um, and food loss and waste. And so it requires a concerted effort by all of us to do that. Great. Well, Liz, thank you so much. Uh, very inspiring, good calls to action for us to take forward. Um, so thanks so much for taking the time to chat with us and encourage everyone to check out the, the show notes and the links um, to learn more about this. And we'll have another podcast soon so we can further discuss how to reduce food loss and waste. Thanks so much.